Now y'all already know what time it is. It is time for the mess, so let's get into it, honey. What's going on, everybody? This be your boy Scotty by Nation TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yeah. Yes, for the mess, okay? And we are here to talk about Jeannie from the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. And apparently, Bravo has fired this girl from the show after her anti-black post from Facebook that was leaked to the internet, child. They have finally made a statement after ever so many days, all right? Now, I got an article here from Entertainment Weekly. Yes, this happened earlier today, but like I said on my last Cardi B and Tasha K video that I just posted, child i was at work okay so a lot of a lot of stuff went down while i was at work so i had to get home make these two quick videos for you guys and then think about the rest tomorrow yes i had to do that real quick so we're here to talk about this very very quickly this is not one of those yes for the mess that's gonna go on all day we're gonna get into this real quickly real fast and in a hurry now i got an article here from entertainment weekly that talks about this situation so we finna get right on into it real quickly okay so Entertainment Tonight says Jeannie joined the show in his second season and had already begun filming his third. After an explosive backlash, Bravo has fired Salt Lake City housewife Jeannie Wynn. Last week, um, some racist posts that um, Wynn shared, has shared on her Facebook, which has now been deactivated, resurfaced prompting criticism from fans, as well as statements from some of her castmates and other Bravo stars. On Tuesday, the network tweeted a statement that it had ceased filming with Jeannie and she would no longer be a part of the show. Jeannie was a new show, a uh, new addition to the cast in the second season, which was which is currently airing, and she had already began filming the third. Jeannie's post had been disparaging of the Black Lives Matter movement. On Thursday, she posted her apology to her Instagram. I want to acknowledge and apologize for my deleted Facebook post from 2020 that resurfaced today. At the time, I thought I was speaking against violence, but I have since learned now how offensive and hurtful my words were. She wrote in an image shared to her grid captioned with the hashtag, hashtag hate is a virus. I regret those posts and I am sincerely sorry for the pain that they caused. Our rep from Jeannie did not immediately respond to EW's request for a comment. In Real Housewives of Salt Lake City's second season, which is now nearing its conclusion, she had confronted her classmate Mary Cosby for the latter's references to Jeannie's slanted eyes. Cosby has also been under fire due to allegations that her church, where she is a pastor, is a cult. And she skipped out on the end of the season reunion taping. The season has also gained widespread attention for chronicling the fallout of Housewife Jean Shaw was arrested by federal agents for charges of fraud and money laundering. Bravo's statement announcing Jean's firing continues with the promise to take a closer look while vetting its reality talent. Um, in the past two years, the network and its largely white lineup of Bravo Bravo liberties have been ongoing and reckoning regarding its treatment of race. In the summer of 2020, the Black Lives Matter movement attracted sustained national attention following the death of George Floyd, and Bravo originally fired um, Vanderpump Rules star Stassi and Kristen, along with newer castmates Max and Brett, when some of their past um, prejudice behavior came to light. Not long after um, their controversial co-stars Jax and his wife Brittany departed the show as well. A year later, Kelly Dodd, um, was axed from the Real Housewives of Orange County. As Bravo has made moves to diversify its Real Housewife cast, its efforts have achieved a varying degrees of success. Season 11 of Beverly Hills delivers some offensive and awkward scenes that ultimately yield, in some cases, productive conversations. Meanwhile, the New York City's 13th season, which filmed during the 2020 election, new addition Ebony K. Williams tried to bring up meaningful topics with her longstanding cast members while some were receptive. Others' responses ranged from hopelessly self-involved to blankly uh, prejudiced and prompted a fan outcry to fire uh, franchise OG Ramona Singer. And then there's Dallas, which was put on hold indefinitely after its fifth season. Bravo did not uh, provide an explicit reason why, but the behavior of some of the cast toward freshman housewife Dr. Tiffany Moon suggests a deep dysfunction in the franchise's Texas entry. Bravo's firing 
of Jeannie herself, a woman of color, and a promise to re-examine its casting process is the latest st step in the network's efforts to address uh, racial insensitivity from its talent. What that means for some of its controversial but more established personality remains to be seen. Now, that was the article from Entertainment Weekly. Now, I have the Bravo statement. Now, the Bravo statement... Um, Hold on, you guys. The Bravo statement says, Bravo has ceased filming with Jeannie um, and she will no longer be a cast member of The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. We recognize that we failed to take appropriate action once her offensive uh, social media posts were brought to our attention. Moving forward, we will improve our processes to ensure we make better and informed um, and more thoughtful casting decisions. Now, that was the Bravo statement. And then... This is what I got to say about that. Now, uh, I wonder what took them so long to make a statement. I feel like what was going on was they was filming the third season already. And what they were trying to do was they wanted to make this a storyline. They wanted us to wait for season three to see how Jeannie was going to be affected during the season. But I felt like, no, fire her now. Fire her now. She's pretty prejudiced. Fire her now. She's going against the whole Black Lives Movement situation. Fire her now because it's pretty clear where she stands. And don't nobody want to watch no show like that where we got a woman on there who's, pre who's obviously prejudiced. We don't have time to have that on our screens, honey. We don't. So that's just what it is. So yes, let her go. You know, we ain't missing nothing about her being on this show. Let her go. Because see, if she could sit up here and call out Mary and talk about Mary and what she do and all this other stuff, then what makes her, you know, why Why does she need to stay about, um, why does she need to stay on this show? That's just my personal opinion. Why does she need to stay on this show, period? You know what I mean? Let her go. Move her around. Let her go. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's what I believe. I believe what was going on was they was planning to keep her on the show for the third season, which they're already filming already. And um, they thought that this was going to be a storyline for the people and everybody wanted to see it. But with all the backlash that they got, they were forced to go ahead and let her go. That's pretty much what was really going on here. So then after Bravo put out their statement, Jeannie put out something else and said, I will finally be speaking my truth tomorrow now that I'm allowed to. I will be taking questions after. Thank you to all who supports me. OK, so that was Jeannie's statement. And my thing about this is what truth do you need to speak on? Because you already admitted that those were your posts. You already admitted that they were on your page. You already own that. So what? side of the story do you need to tell oh so now that you're no longer on the show you feel like you can say whatever you want to now and we're going to eat it up no girl you're gone you're done we don't care about nothing that you're talking about at this point bye time i tell your side of the story there's no side to tell there's no side that we even care about girl so just move on with your life and get a show somewhere else. Oh, I forgot you're a businesswoman, so you can take care of your business. You live in Utah. They don't care about no stuff like this. They don't care about being prejudiced in Utah. So, girl, you're in good company. Go ahead. Go ahead and do you. That's how I feel. Go ahead and do you, girl. That's how I feel. So, yeah, we don't need you on the Housewives of Salt Lake City. Um, especially now, we know that you're prejudiced. And I think that you owe Mary um, an apology. Because you sit up there and you tried to out her for being prejudiced. And now... It comes out that you were prejudiced yourself or is prejudiced yourself. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you did all that time. You took all that time, put Mary on blast, and now look at you. Feel what I'm saying? So, you did too much at this point. So, yeah, we're going to see what you got to say tomorrow. We we are definitely going to be tuned in, and we're going to see what you got to say. I'm inquiring, my inquiring minds want to know exactly what you got to say. It, about this matter at this point in time for real for real but with that being said you guys this be this be your boy scott about nature tv be sure to like rate comment and subscribe to my channel also share the videos also click the notification bell so you can be notified whenever video drops also if you want to follow me on social media my twitter and my ig would be down below i don't really be on twitter like that but you can follow me because i do live tweet during the shows that i watch and review if i'm home to watch it but 
I do be on IG all the time. I post every day on IG. I post a picture. It don't a video. It don't matter. I post every day on IG. So if you really want to get to know me, just follow my IG. It's always lit, okay? And if you want me to follow you back on IG, all you got to do is hit me up in the DMs with the hashtag Mrs. Team Scotty, and I will definitely follow you back. With that being said, you guys, I hope you guys have a good night, and I will talk to you guys later. Until next time, peace out. I'll holler.